I help you? Well, I'm looking for Miss Lumler. Is she expecting you? Oh, yes. But her bell doesn't seem to be working. Oh, it's quite all right. I'm her father. To apologize. There's nothing to apologize for. Yes, there is. May I come in? Well, uh, I was just about to get my dinner. And... I won't keep you a minute. I behaved appallingly. I've been thinking about it all day at the office, and I behaved appallingly. I'm sorry. I said there's no need to apologize. I mean, if you feel that way about me. But I don't. I wouldn't be here if I did, would I? It's just. I can't bear to be touched. That's all. Like that, I mean. Well, by anyone? No. You're how old? 18, 19? I'm 17. Well, even so, you behave as though you've never been kissed before. I haven't. Oh. <laughs> Where have you been all your life? Wrapped in cotton wool? Were you raped or something? Oh, no. Nothing like that. Must have had a very strange upbringing. Religious? Why? Well, are you? Jim, what's the use in going over it? Because it's important, that's why. We're just wasting each other's time, aren't we? Are we? It's no use, Jim. I must be frigid. No, it wouldn't have happened if you were. Then I'm unique, I suppose. Yeah, you're that all right. Just good friends. I didn't say that. Didn't you? Maybe when I know you better. You don't have to go to bed with me, you know. I was taken by surprise. I know it sounds silly, but I was. The reality is always different. Yes, I see. I don't mean you to spend any money on me or anything. That's not fair. I thought perhaps we could go to concerts, proms, or just have a talk sometimes. Have a talk? Well, you see other girls, don't you? Oh, incessantly. I don't mean you have to always not touch me with a barge pole, you know. Just at first, perhaps. I know. I'll get you drunk next time. Yes, that might be a good idea. Yeah? Whatever that is, it's burning. Oh, hell. What is it? Was it? Well, uh, it was beans, but I've got a pie instead. I don't mind it cold. Is that all you're having? Well, I'm not hungry. You should be having green vegetables and fruit. I could come up one evening and fix something for you if you like. May I? All right. Where's your mother, Jim? Uh, she's in the States. She remarried. You didn't go with her? Well, everything I wanted was here. What was that? Well, the college. How long have you been on your own, then? Well, ever since I left school. Not always here, though. Uh, no. Two months. Why did you leave your last place? My neighbour died. Oh. Was he a friend of yours? Well, I've never even spoken to him. That was the point, you see. No, I don't. Well, uh, he had a heart attack in his room. I didn't even find him for a fortnight. Not that they got a bit worried about the rent. He hadn't even locked the door. Next to your room? Yeah. Oh, Jim. So, I moved here. Will you work in London? When you finish college, I mean, go into a London orchestra. Well, maybe, if they'll take me. Or go abroad. America? No, Germany. Will it be soon? No, not very soon. Do you ever see her, your mother? Well, occasionally, at Christmas. Oh. It has its compensations. Such as? Well, uh, the occasional high fi set. Not the same, though, is it? Well, don't tell me you hadn't noticed it. Yes. But I didn't mention it because I thought you might think I was hinting for an invitation to hear some records sometime. <laughs> well, congratulations on your perseverance. It is rather my turn, isn't it? Well, may I hear some records sometime? Any time. What I'd really like would be a horn recital. Well, unaccompanied. Well, there's lots of solos, aren't there? Well, such as? Well, the Britain, the Serenade, and Schubert, the Ninth, the last movement, and Now you're thinking it? of the first movement. Oh, I like the last better. Bum, 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 now, that would sound unspeakably ridiculous played on one horn. But there are horns in it. Yeah, and about 97 other instruments. Please, tomorrow night. Now you're playing hard to get. Why not tonight? No, because I've got a 90 test tomorrow. I won't pass, but I want to have a crack at it. I could come up after class and get something proper to eat, if that's not too late for you. No, that's fine. I'll have a go at cleaning that cooker, too. And the saucepan, if I can. Hey, don't strain yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to take over, just to make up a bit. I'm not complaining. Tomorrow night, then. Okay, tomorrow night. Good night. Night. Hello, Sue. Hello, Dad. Where have you been? Upstairs. Who with? Uh, just a girl. Well, a, a woman, actually. I was feeding her cat for her. She's working late. Do that often, do you? Sometimes. Have you been here long? No, not long. I was on my way home from the office. I did ring your bell, but you didn't answer. No, I was upstairs. So you said. How did you get in? The door was open. Oh. Would you like some coffee? Oh. If you're making it. You're managing all right? For money? Yes, thanks, Dad. How much does this place cost a week? Seven pounds. Whew. That's cheap these days. Is it? What's your salary now? I can afford it, Dad. I might be getting promotion soon anyway. I told Mum. Last Friday. She told you then? She didn't have to. She just wanted to see what the place was like. Did she tell you then where I was? Got it out of Bob. That seems rather hard on Bobby. Bob's a good boy. Who's this woman then? What woman? The one upstairs that you've just been seeing. I wasn't seeing her. I was seeing her cat. Well, who is she anyway? Just a woman. She's quite respectable, Dad. She isn't on the streets or anything. That'll do. Sorry. But I can take care of myself, you know. Still, you have to be careful, you know, in a place like this. It isn't a den of iniquity, Dad. It's just working people like us. Who choose to live without responsibilities? Maybe. But however they live, they do it on their own. And they don't open their doors to anything they don't have to. There's no naked dancing on the stairs, you know. You're only 17. But ageing every minute. It's natural we worry, Sue. You don't have to, Dad. And how long is this going to go on? What do you mean? You know very well what I mean. Shutting yourself away out here. Never coming home. I do come home. Not for weeks. As it seems quite impossible for me to go home without having some kind of bust up with you. How do you think I'll explain all this to my friends? What do you think Bobby thinks? And the neighbours? It's not natural, Sue. Getting to know these people. What people? Well, that woman you talked about. How do I know what sort of a woman she is? Whether she's the right sort of person for you to know? I could show you the cat. And she's not the only one, I suppose. There are other people you visit, whose rooms you go to at all hours. Men? I don't, Dad. And this place. Well, you can hardly call this place at home, can you? Where's your bathroom? Do you want to use it? I said, where is it? It's upstairs. I'll take you if you like. No. I don't like. Run up and down those stairs in your dressing gown, I suppose? In front of all those people? Nobody hangs around the stairs, Dad, not if they can help it. Why can't they give you a room with one opening off it? Because there aren't any. You don't get a private bathroom, Dad, not for seven pounds a week. You mean you share it? Dad, for God's sake. Who will? Just leave it. Leave it, will you? There's that lovely room, all ready and waiting for you. Your mother hasn't touched a thing. Do you think she doesn't miss you? Every minute of every day? It's got to be this way, Dad. Why? Why has it? I don't see that, Sue. Don't you? Oh, all right. There have been problems. Won't happen again, Sue. Ever. Susie? Do you know what that house is like without you? What it's like coming home every night, hoping that I'll see you? 
what it's like. Susie. No! You're not going up there. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to find out. It's not your responsibility. She's over 16. We've only got her word for that, haven't we? Won't happen again. I said it over and over again, all right, you know, it won't happen. I said, not again, it won't happen. I know, Dad. I'm sorry, Sue. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's all right, Mrs. Lawson. He tripped. I'll replace the lamp. Uh, Mrs. Lawson, this is my father. Dad, uh, this is my uh, landlady. No visitors in the rooms, Miss Lawson. Oh, th that should set your mind at rest, Dad. You came to check up on me, Mrs. Lawson. Uh, you better run, Dad, or you'll miss your train. Mm. Give my love. Give my love to Mum, won't you? Yes, of course I. Good night, Dad. I said I'll, I'll replace the lamp, Mrs. Lawson. First thing I do is fix your clothes. Is he your father? No, no, of course not. You were lying then? Yes. You are now. You want me to go then? Is this why you left home? It won't happen again, Mrs. Lawson. How do you know? No, I don't. You let him in? No. I have to leave my address, you see, at home. In case anything happens. With your mother? Yes. But he found it. He would again. Wherever you went. Yes. Have you been to the police? No. Why not? And who'd tell Mum? Do you think she doesn't know? What makes you so sure? What? That the mother knew. She knows, all right. I don't get it. You couldn't live in the same house and not know. Well, she wasn't there when it happened, was she? It didn't have to be. You can't live with somebody and not know what's going on. But he'd keep quiet about it. Oh, yes, he'd do that all right. Oh, I don't get it. What don't you get? Your own daughter. It happens. All the time. All over. Yeah, but you don't see much about it in the papers, I mean. It doesn't get reported. Not when it's a kid. I did jury service once, met a case. Been after the kid since she was nine. Said it was the miniskirts. She kept sussing around the house in a miniskirt. He got so he couldn't keep his hands off. What happened to him? Seven years. Your own kid. Well, it's tired of his wife, maybe, and he has the inclination, but not the chance to go out and look for it. Well, she's a lovely kid, but. All the same, it's, it's... It's not so far from looking to touching, is it? You see a girl going to the bathroom. Flimsy robe and nothing underneath. You see it all the time. Here. Oh, it's different. Is it? Gonna keep her on? Are you? Yes. She's a nice kid. I like her. She's got guts. I'll keep her on. Who 
is it? It's me. Mom. What is it? Nothing. I just wanted to see you. We had a long talk, your father and I, last night. Oh. Was anything else broken that needs to be replaced? It doesn't matter. She came in, he said. Your landlady. That's why he told me, I suppose. In case she got in first. She won't do anything. She doesn't get involved. Even in this? Is everything all right? I haven't left him. If that's what you mean. Why should I? You already have. How long have you known? Depends what you mean by no, doesn't it? It wasn't my fault, Mum. It wasn't. Would it help? You remember the boy I told you about? The music student? Have you told him? No. No. Better not, I suppose. Are you seeing him? Yes, tonight. Could you stand him up? I thought maybe we could go to the pictures or out for a bite to eat. I'd rather not go home yet. Not tonight. Yes, ma'am. Of course I will. Don't mind, do you? I came up, but you weren't there, and the door sort of came open. Did you get my note about last night? Yeah, I got it. Can we make it tonight instead? Or when I finish this, I mean, it may take some time. What's the matter, Okay, Jim? so it's a free country. But you might have mentioned it, just in passing. Not let me find out that I'd seen you kissing him half naked. What, five minutes after you fed me that load of crap? He's my father. Oh, come off it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> listen, Jim. No, you don't have to explain it. Yes, I do. Please, listen, Jim. Listen. 